Hey there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And uh, I'm going to be pulling you a few cards here for November 2020. Thank you so much. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe here. This is for Spiritual Guidance Academy uh, exclusively. So feel free to check out my channel as well if you are interested. Uh, let's see here. I'm having everybody working with selenite here. This crystal is great for uh, helping purify your environment, also to uh, purifying it yourself as well. Very low maintenance, uh, very easy to cleanse. You know, uh, I don't put this in a salt bath or wash it, if you will. I like to put these particular crystals, uh, you know, to cleanse them in the moonlight or the sunlight. So let's see, we've got a few shout outs here before we get started for our Scorpios when it comes to November 2020. Uh, thank you so much for leaving comments uh, for the October 2020s. So a big shout out to Sylvia, Helen and Tiffany. Uh, thank you to I believe the Libra and Scorpio, the titles got switched up or anything like that. So thank you so much for letting us know. And let's just move it right along here. Scorpio, you are a water sign. Okay. Ruling planets, ruling planets. <clears throat> All right, we have Mars and Pluto for you. Okay, so let's just get started here. This could have to do with love, friends, uh, finances, health, lack there of uh, family, anything like that. Cross watch or pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa and is not gender specific. Okay, so let's see. What's our first card that we have for Scorpios when it comes to uh, November 2020 here? I'm asking my angels and spirit guides to please come through. Okay, look at this here. We have the wolf here. It says winter, take care of your needs. All right. So Scorpio uh, and, you know, Scorpios tend to get a bad rap from people. And, you know, I'm a Taurus and, you know, Scorpio is our opposite sign. And what they say, especially when it comes to relationships on any level, really, you know, uh, they, they love each other or they really, really, really don't like each other. You know, however, uh, I have a lot of Scorpio friends. They're absolutely wonderful. You know, uh, if you find yourself in a relationship, possibly for some of you out there with one, it's just like the passion, you know, uh, it's crazy. I love it, though. However, when it comes to this card here, we have the wolf. Some of you may resonate with that animal. All right. Uh, that's also a protection guardian as well. All right. Something really significant, especially for your future, is going to be solidified and happening for this winter. Okay. Possibly some of you could have gone through a breakup last winter possibly reconnecting this winter. All right. Uh, but this is taking care of your needs. This is self-love. This is also uh, reflection. And this is pretty much, you know, having it to put your needs first. And people may be like, well, that's real selfish of you, you know, doing the finger pointing and, you know, how dare you want to, you know, go out, get your hair did if you can. I know we're in interesting times right now. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, you know, this is also to friends, family, gathering, and also to remembering not to overwork yourself, not to overstrain yourself, not to overworry, my dear Scorpios, because what people don't seem to really realize about Scorpios out there, and yes, they can, they, they got the pinchers there, they got that stinger, and yes, I understand, uh, you know, they can get feisty as well, just like all of us can. They are some of the nicest people out there, honestly. Don't get them mad. Absolutely not. You know, try not to get really get anyone upset or angry. However, I feel like Scorpios, you know, they will give you the shirt off their back. You know, they're great when it comes to cooking. How many of my Scorpios out there? They love their food. They love to cook. You know, uh, they they like to make sure that their financials, especially that they are very stable. All right. Um, also, too, they got those gorgeous eyes, whether, you know, and it doesn't matter the color. Uh, I've happened to notice a lot of the Scorpios. I know they've got those dark brown eyes or, you know, those really deep blue eyes, the lighter ones, uh, also green eyes as well. But this is letting you know uh, to not worry yourself, something to possibly be mindful of. And we all do this, you know, especially with all the stuff that's going on out there right now. 
you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a lawyer, anything like that, you know, make sure uh, when you're taking care of your, your skin, especially, you know, uh, my grandmother, may she rest in peace, she instilled that in us, you know, take care of your skin because you only have one face. Uh, also, too, I do believe Nicole uh, has a shopping club, you know, uh, that has products out there that are more beneficial to your everyday needs, you know, as far as cleansing and stuff like that. All right. Uh, but this is a lot of Scorpios out there may have sensitive skin. You may break out in hives, have to uh, be mindful of your detergents that you're using, stuff like that. Okay, also not overstressing yourself. Some of you may work with uh, fibromyalgia, uh, also to uh, ulcers and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, this is taking care of you before taking care of anyone else. It's just like, all right, Carolyn, just get to love here. Well, you have to take care of your own needs because, you know, um, especially when you're working on your inner self here and it's just like, you know, Scorpios are very intuitive, very psychic, you know, they can see through uh, BS from a mile away, you know, and that may really scare people off. It may intimidate people, especially when it comes to relationships, you know, uh, sometimes, and I understand all of you are in different areas of your life. Some of you are single, some of you out there are already in a coupled up relationship. All right. Some of you possibly could be in that. Should I stay? Should I go? Seems to me like a lot of you are leaders of the pack here. You know, they kind of send you out or you venture out before the pack comes behind you if you will, you know, metaphorically speaking, you know, and you just kind of go out there to see who's who, what's what, whether it's safe to continue further. What does this have to do with relationships? Well, let's look a little bit further into that for my Scorpios out there. I'm really liking that. A lot of you too really uh, may resonate with the wolf. You may have, you know, portraits or paintings or, you know, statues or screensavers with the picture of the wolf there. That's also your protection guardian as well. If you feel like, uh, you know, that, well, I think we're all really feeling it, you know, in these interesting times, you know, protecting your property, protecting yourself from being hurt. Uh, also remembering to not to necessarily uh, keep that wall up so high. I'm not saying to distrust anyone. You know, uh, I've, I've gotten into trouble with that myself before. You know, uh, however, use your intuition, use your inner gut feeling, you know, and uh, you do have the ability. You're very insightful. However, do not keep those walls so far up that you're going to push out the right people. All right. Uh, everybody out there is not necessarily out to get you. And wow, when it comes to relationships, just very generalized here. And just to kind of introduce myself to all of you, for those that may not know, we have this card here. Uh, consider your foundation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. All right. So what we're putting out there is exactly what we are going to get. You know, uh, sometimes it may take a while, like people like me, you know, uh, you get into those relationships. Why is so and so uh, every time I pick somebody, they cheat on me, steal from me, do this, do that. Or they turn out to be somebody who you never thought <laughs> and it may make you feel like foolish. OK. However, again, considering your foundation, this could have to do with career, but specifically when it comes to love here, look at this. We have this coupled up here. We've got the two foxes here. I forget who else I pulled this for. Feel free to go back and check on those other readings. It possibly could have been for Libra, uh, maybe Virgo, possibly a Leo or Cancer. Some of you may be working with those energies. Uh, maybe Gemini. Okay, uh, and look at this future here. All right, especially for some of my singles out there, just like, well, Carolyn, how am I supposed to meet a man or meet a woman with all this going on and the Internet? You know, it's so volatile and this and that. OK, well, again, it's uh, restructuring everything in order to bring in what we want. You know, you want that, you know, that that house or that property or it doesn't have to be. It can be like a mansion. It can be whatever it is that your dream is, you know, whatever's abundant to you. What's abundant to me or somebody else may be completely different to what's abundant to you. You know, at least finding somebody to be happy with, you know, possibly having that family, you know, possibly this could be families coming together, especially if you are divorced and, you know, you're not 
necessarily sure if you want to love again or date again. This could be families being brought together as well. But I'm seeing wonderful, fabulous things for the majority of you out there. But you do have a couple of sly foxes right there. Or you could be a fox, if you will. Scorpios are very good looking. They got those bedroom eyes, if you will. All right. They tend to go after what they want, uh, you know, kind of aggressively. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with uh, creating future goals, you know, investing in yourself once again in order to create your reality because you are the master of your reality. You know, you've got your angels, your spirit guides here. Something to do with candles too. I don't know if some of you are in the business of selling candles or possibly uh, maybe if you don't have any candles in your house, maybe investing in something like that. Uh, possibly like a scented candle as long as you're not allergic to it, you know, uh, that could also help to bring your intuition and possible new love in. You know, if you're already in a relationship or possibly in that, should I stay, should I go? Sometimes if we go through hard times and separations, you know, no relationship is perfect. I am a big advocate for people changing. Some people do, uh, may take them a bit longer. Some people just, you, you already know, they're going to, you know, the same song and dance, same song and dance, just add a little twist to it, you know, but sometimes when we separate from someone, it is for a reason. And it's in order to bring us back together even closer before. And sometimes, uh, you know, relationships foundations can crumble sometimes in order for you to rebuild them in order for you to not necessarily go through, you know, I've been uh, stuck with someone for 10, 20 years, and I shouldn't have wasted my time because now look, you know, <laughs> So this is really positive. This is really great. I'm really liking this. All right. Let's pull you one more card here to see, um, again, what other uh, messages that we have for our Scorpios out there. I hope that you're all staying, uh, you know, safe, and I hope that you're all doing fabulous. You know, uh, it's just... Yeah, your angels are coming up big time here. All right. See what I'm saying here? We have Unity, Archangel Sandalphon. All right. Uh Number five there, uh, numerology very quickly, things happening very quickly, uh, you know, very generalized, right? Angel numbers or, you know, when it comes to numerology. So you got Archangel Sandalphon. All right. Uh, and if you go back and look into Catholicism or anything like that, as far as that goes, you know, there are only two angels named, you know, with an O-N at the end of their name. According to whatever scriptures or whatever it is that you're looking into, there's Archangel Sandalphon and Arch Archangel Metatron. Okay. They were uh, two brothers, what they say, but again, it really depends on uh, what you're looking into. And uh, Father Noah, Noah's Ark there, you know, taking all the animals there, bringing them on the uh, the ship there. And, you know, there's a flood. Everyone's like, you're crazy. And then it happens. And it's just like, hey, can I get on your boat? And I'm only mentioning this to you, Scorpio, because somebody with everything that's going on right now, you may be getting that phone call like, Okay, um, I didn't do this. I didn't do that emergency. Uh, some of you may be working with that energy too. You are the go to person when it comes to people creating strategies uh, or business plans, stuff like that, because they know that you know how to get what it is that you desire. All right, or maybe they're just desiring you. On the bottom here, it says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like minded friends as well. Also, too, uh, I don't know if you could see, you know, possibly if any of these colors really resonate with you. Those are maybe some chakras that you may want to work on as well. All right. Possibly your third eye chakra, maybe your throat chakra. All right. Uh, maybe even your heart chakra as well. The green's really sticking out. You know, maybe your uh, sacral chakra orange there. All right. Uh, and the list goes on and on here. This is also seeking out a teacher, seeking out uh, possibly a counselor when it comes to a relationship, you know, and it's just like we do not want this to fall apart, not to scare anyone out there that are perfectly in happy relationships Then that message, you know, take what you can. However, uh, so their father there, Noah, Noah's Ark, and uh, 
grandfather Enoch, okay? Uh, just to give you just a little background there, again, very generalized. Well, what does this have to do with you? And as far as the future goes for everything, all right, as long as you're working on yourself, possibly uh, getting that spiritual guidance that you need, possibly seeking out that mentor. Remember what we were talking about, sometimes things fall apart in order for, you know, an awakening of some kind to happen in order for that relationship to grow a lot stronger back together. And I'm really feeling like, like this is what's going on here, okay? Also working with somebody very wise, you know, they do not necessarily have to be uh, older than you. However, you know, it could be working with a indigo, uh, so to speak, okay? So hopefully that this reading was helpful to somebody out there and uh, I'm really liking this. Feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I will see you all next time.